Now, one of those days when I was just at home, I didn't have a job because I was just, I was just passionate working, so I wasn't thinking about um, clients. I was just in my parents' house and they were feeding me. And one afternoon, I think there was no light or something, and I was at home. I couldn't work on my system. I'd run down the battery of my laptop and I fell asleep. I think it was about 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock or so. And my dad walked into the room and he said, How can I be sleeping at 12 o'clock? How can a young man be sleeping at 12 o'clock? You need to have something you are doing. You have to have something you are going after. As a matter of fact, you need to go and get a job. And um, he left the room. And I thought, wow, I need to go out and get a job. And that's where purpose started. Now, what is purpose? Now, purpose is giving your passion a direction that is fruitful. That is purpose. Because passion is wild. It's unruly. It's, it doesn't have a course. You understand? Purpose puts it on a course. On a road that is fruitful. Fruitful monetarily. Especially fruitful monetarily. Let's, just, let's leave it at that. It can be fruitful in a lot of ways. But fruitful monetarily. That's when purpose is when you can turn your passion into a source of income by solving people's problems with your passion so i realized i had to go out yes i'm a passionate graphic designer i'm a good graphic designer but i had to go out and turn it into money so i went out and, and funny enough a week after that happened i um I, I had a friend call me and tell me that there was a job opening at a place as a place called dark communications and they were looking for a web designer, someone to head their web department. Because th- then they were just building their website, so they needed someone to head their web department. So I applied, and I went for the interview, and they employed me. And I, I became the webmaster of that communication. I was in charge of their website. I built their first ever website. I built it with, they gave me a team of people to train, and I trained them. But I knew in my mind that what I really wanted to do was to build a company. Because I had been looking at other other people on the internet, there was a, there was a company called Too Advanced. Too Advanced. They had a, a wonderful website called um, Too Advanced. Com, and I wanted to build something, a company. So I knew I didn't want to work as a graphic designer in a company. I wanted to own a graphic design. I wanted to run a gra- graphic design company. So I said, you know what? I will take this um, dark communications job just to make some money, so that I can start off what. I want to start off. So I said I will work in dark communications for one year. And this way I want to tell you that if you have a purpose, if your purpose is to run a design company, you must have a plan. So I had a plan to go my purpose. I said I worked dark communications for one year. And I only worked there for one year. When my, when I ha- came to my one year anniversary at dark communications, I turned in my resignation letter and I left. So you must have a plan a plan with your purpose remember you cannot continue to run out of passion run from passion run run with passion it's not pa- passion doesn't make you successful no great empire was built from passion it's passion and purpose so i talk to a lot of graphic designers and and they don't have that mentality they work with a lot of passion oh i love graphic design I love graphic design but they don't think about purpose how do you put on a path that becomes fruitful when you're working you're choosing your clients and choosing look okay there's this project this guy is telling me to work on this project it's exciting but he's not paying much he's paying like 10k now this guy is telling me to work on a project it's not that exciting but he's paying like 200k a lot of graphic designers go and work for the one that excites them and forget the one that pays them more there is time for excitement and, in that, and that's when you, your passion period, you do all the exciting stuff you want to do. But your purpose period, you must choose carefully who you work with. So I spent a lot of time. So when I left that communication, I started a company called um, Upper Room Studios for a few months. Then I met, I, I went from there, I, I, I met a guy, um, a friend of mine. We started another company called um, Clip Art Media. And we were making greeting cards and selling it. I went from there, that didn't last for too long. I went from there and I met another group of guys, artists, um, digital media artists, and we formed a company called Intersection Digital Media. 
and that went on for about a year or two and i realized that direction was not really the direction i wanted to go in and i realized i really wanted to do my own thing so i went from there i left that and i started tola labi design and that was the journey i started working with clients i started giving my my passion more direction of purpose choosing my clients carefully coming up with my rate card increasing my rate card increasing my rate of working making my work better being more strategic in how i was showing my work that's how i started total labi design i'd started three other companies before then that didn't do well in my opinion before i started total labi design so with purpose there will be some time of failure when things tend to fail it might be a partnership that failed a business idea that failed remember i had three other companies that failed before I now did Tola Labi Design. And I learned from the journey of starting those three, or, three other companies to so starting Tola Labi Design. And I want designers to learn this. There is a time to be charitable. But that must come after a time of doing business. I see a lot of designers being very charitable, doing free work, free work, they're free. You are not rich enough to do free work yet. Charge. Even if you are charging low, charge something. I see a lot of graphics that are doing free work, free personal projects. I just worked on this. It, there's a time to do other things. Either you do it in your passion stage or do it in the third stage that I'm going to talk about. But never do it in your purpose stage. That is not the time to start doing free work. So I spent about seven or eight years in my purpose stage building a company building taller labi design and i decided to specialize in logo design and that's because i read about a guy called paul rand and and how did i get to know about paul rand i went to a website i was reading about a company i think it was abc or was it I, ibm i read about ibm on wikipedia and under their logo they said logo designed by paul rand and i never ever seen a company put a designer's name in wikipedia under their logo and I thought, who is this guy that a company can respect so much to put his name with their brand name? And that's how I found out about Paul Rand. And I said, look, I want to do what that guy is. I want to be relevant in design, just like that guy is. And what can I do to be relevant? I realized if I design a flyer, the flyer will be used for an occasion. I won't be relevant anymore. Or if I design a brochure, the brochure will be used and might not be used anymore. But I realized what is most lasting in design is identity. There are logos that have lasted for 30, 40 years. That's what I want. I wanted something that my children's children can see and say, oh, that was done by my granddad. That was done by my dad. And that's how I ended up doing logo design. And I focused Tola Labi portfolio on logo design. So my purpose began, it became to earn a living, a very good living, from logo design now i've talked about the passion stage which is the first stage and I'm, i've also talked about um the purpose stage which is the second stage and i'm going to talk about the third stage of a creative journey and it's called the calling stage and um what's a calling um a calling is when you use your purpose to serve a larger number of people you use your purpose to serve now you you give your purpose even more direction that is beyond you you take care of other people that's what a calling is so i've I, 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 i've come to that stage in my career where i'm trying to transit from the purpose stage to the calling stage and um, I got to realize this some years ago. I realized that um, I'd been putting up my job on Facebook and I was getting a lot of comments from, from um, designers saying, you are inspiring me, you are doing this, you are doing that, um, we love your job. And I put it on, on Instagram too. And I realized it, a time came when my comments started to drop. Likes started to drop. People stopped mentioning me. And I said, mm, what's going on? Is my work getting worse? And I went, no, my work is not getting worse. My work, my work was actually getting better. But I realized it was time to transit from being a business person to being somebody with a calling. 
and I, I kind of had to search deep within what, what was my calling at this point in time and I realized my calling was to inspire and influence people especially designers so I'd come from being a business person to a person that could establish something or do things for the younger designers and that's what drives me now I'm not driven by doing a good logo I'm not be driven by oh I got a client that paid me this much money no I realized that what I really want what I really want I don't want to be the richest designer in Nigeria no I, I'm probably not the top 1,000 richest designers in Nigeria I'm sure that people on this platform that have more in their bank account than I do um, no I don't want to be the most popular in the sense that I have the most social media following no but I do want to be the most influential. I want as many designers as possible to say, look, I read something from Tola Alabi. I spoke to Tola Alabi. I met Tola Alabi and it changed my design career. That is what, that is what drives me. That's what makes me wake up every morning and go to work. That is the calling. So it's not about money. It's not about followers. It's about how many lives you can influence how many lives you can change how many lives you can make better and that's why I started um, what is called Pro Up Masterclass I don't know how many of you know about my YouTube channel it's called Pro Up Masterclass I will advise you if you're a designer to, to subscribe for it and that's what I use it for that's the most important part of my journey right now because I, I get to help designers and advise them and tell them better decisions so they don't have to make the mistakes that I have made so that you know they can go through that path where I went through in my career where I was unsure of myself and wasn't sure that I had a place in this world other designers don't have to go through that I can reach out to them and they can reach out to me and I can tell them you know what there's a place for you in this world you can become very successful with design and that's the place of calling that's the final stage of a career that everyone must establish. I know a lot of people that establish, that go from purpose, from passion to purpose and stop there because they feel purpose. We're making, we're making money. We have clients. That's okay. But the, the bad thing about that, about doing that, stopping at stage two, is that when you die or when you retire or when you can't do it anymore, you become forgotten. That's why you need to go to a place of calling. Because what calling does is that when you retire or stop doing what you're doing or die, which we are all going to die, is that you will never be forgotten. And that is what a brand really wants to establish. And that's why you realize that there are people that do things and there are other people that do things. Like in music, we all know there's a guy called Bob Marley. Even though some of you were not born when Bob Marley died. You understand, but we know this Bob Marley, and we know he sings reggae music. Even if you might not have heard his song, you have seen his photo before. He has become more than a reggae musician. But do you know in Bob Marley's time there was a guy called Peter Touch? Peter Touch used to sing the same style of music as Bob Marley. Probably had more success than Bob Marley while he was alive. But when Peter Touch died. His name kind of died with him. Have I, I, if I put a picture of Peter Touch, people will probably not know Peter Touch. Probably haven't heard his name. Some people have probably never heard his name. But he lived at the same time as Bob Marley. They did the same thing, measured the same kind of success, sold the same kind of um, record sales. I even think he won a Grammy, and I don't think Bob Marley ever won it. I, I don't think so. But at the time he died, name didn't continue but Mali's name continued and that is where having a calling matters you must have a calling that you follow when you get to that place of purpose where you have, you have clients remember don't don't follow a calling before you have a purpose because you need to make that money but when you've got to that place where God has helped you so much to establish yourself as a business find a deeper calling where you help people and that's where I am right now in my journey. That's where my journey is right now. So I can't tell you any story beyond this. But I want you to understand there are three phases to every career path. There's purpose, 
there is um, there's passion and purpose and there's calling. It's like three phases of a day. There's morning, afternoon, and night. And you must go through those three phases to be successful as a brand.